I'm Sister Baba Ganesh, creator and producer of Project Nunway. Project Nunway is a fashion fundraiser where sisters are paired with designers to create a look based on a theme and made from recycled or repurposed materials. You're gonna ask us a question, Gordy? You're gonna be doing us a documentary on Sister Baba. This week on Project Nunway. Let's see what Miss Tiffy Tart is up to. Now that we're here on official Nunway business. Tiffy, can we just install this whole place at my VCA? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Wow. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Where's my costume? Uh -huh. Nice to see you. It looks kind of like a vagina. Ah, oh, this is the room right here. I mean, talk about inspiration. This room gives me right? orgasm. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Could you be interested in some fabric? <laughs> this is one of the neater collections I've ever seen. And it's all color coordinated. But nonetheless, this is one of the smaller collections I've ever seen. <laughs> what are you going to do for me? For you, a little basic shift dress. Really cute and oh. short, short, short. The whole front of this will be silver. And I was thinking of doing just like a, a, a structure with... Boning. 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 Take it out of the gutter. God. <laughs> it's fashion. There's it's boning. I about. remember boning. It's That's amazing. Yeah, that'll I mean, be fun. Like... That'll be fun and big. She, she knows I want it all and she can do it all. Oh, like a bone, bone, the bone. Yeah. With boning. With, with boning. <laughs> but you're going to create an amazing silhouette with that shape and then put the hips on. I love it. I'm just wondering what you're going to wear because you know we're featuring the designers just as much as the models. So. Should make something Fabulous. that kind of matches. I, well, like last year? <laughs> 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 well, last year we, we didn't even get her to come on stage I or anything. I'm not really like good at uh, a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about um, the reuse or recycle aspect of this? <laughs> Well, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> you know me, I'm well, kind of like, I like to go out and spend money. <laughs> well, the good thing about the MCs are they're not held to the same rules. Exactly! That's, That's what we said! That's <laughs> this is um, really exciting because this is the first time we've ever really done a field trip for Nunway. But since so much of Nunway is about recycle and reuse, we just thought to really get to know, scrap a little bit more. Um, we're really excited to work with Trash Mashup. I'm Jessie and this is Bridget. We run a group called Trash Mashup, uh, giving people tools and ideas to uh, incorporate reuse and reduction into their own artwork. Uh, it's really exciting for those of you who may not have been uh, to Scrap before to get you guys in here. I mean, it's just a candy store. We collect uh, half a million pounds of materials every single year. That's about a ton every single day that comes in. As you know, they only are allowed to spend $100 and all of their other, so most of the materials that they're using are uh, recycled materials. It always strikes me when I have teams who are like, we can't spend money, like you need to. Yeah, I mean, I think that the queerness of Nunway has to do with making something extraordinary out of very little um, capital. What's awesome about Project Nunway is that it takes these impulses of the speculative, of um, the theoretical as manifested in, you know, design concepts um, and it hones it in a compassionate drag fantasia. I mean, how futuristic is that? The creativity and the intellect that goes behind all of what seems to be a lot of flash and fun and it's really deep superficiality. And to me, I think that's what the queer aesthetic is about, is like, you think you know, it's all on the surface, look deeper. 